uh, secret headquarters, the Megan location of the secret headquarters, and uh, pretty much where I do all my work. So we'll check it out. It's uh, just a big loft space, and I wanted to really make sure this was all work oriented, so I don't have like all the comforts at home, and that, that's uh, mm -hmm. what I tell myself to not cry to sleep at night. But anyway, so empty room with some records and shit. I uh, DJ used to do that all the time, so I have 10,000 records, so th those are kind of placed around around the place. So here's the kitchen. It's a picture I made of uh, my wife, right there. Then upstairs is where I do all the uh, media stuff. So i uh, got some synthesizers and turntables and, and all that kind of good stuff, and a bunch of, bunch of vinyl records, and more I haven't sorted through yet, so... In my spare time, I'll try to go through here and, and go through, mm -hmm. through, through this stuff here. All right, cool. So let's check out the uh, work section here. So uh, this part of the loft is pretty much where I work 90% of the time when I do work. Either that or a little bitty laptop I have. Got the uh, Alienware 30 inch, which is really cool. Just finished up Info Millionaire, which is a product me and Frank are doing. Finished that up uh, today, actually, so I'm really excited about that. I uh, got the DVD player where I pretty much play uh, marketing videos all the time on that. And Anthony uses that whenever he's here hanging mm -hmm. out. So that's kind of his computer. And then over here is where we shot some stuff for Frank's Mass Control um, membership uh, monthly. And also we did a Niche Ninjas uh, video here too. So you'll probably see us uh, sitting in these chairs again. But anyway, cool. So what we we're going to talk about today is something that Anthony and I really didn't know anything about. We actually found out about it a couple, uh, oh shit, we probably heard about it probably two months ago or something like that. But it's uh, using demographics and statistical data off of YouTube. And that's actually you know, why we put the YouTube videos on NicheNinjas.com is because we heard about this. So with YouTube, if you're logged into YouTube.com and then you go to NicheNinjas.com, it'll record how old you are, if you're male or female, what part of the country you're from, and give you demographic data, or give us demographic data. So uh, we're gonna show you a little bit about how that works and how we think it could really be huge potential for uh, growing your business, especially with banner ads and stuff like that. And also, if you notice, some of the big dudes on ClickBank now are putting in YouTube videos on their sales page. I think we figured out why, and uh, we'll show you that right now. All right, cool, so we're looking at our YouTube page for Niche Ninja right now. And uh, we're shooting this a little bit early. You guys are getting this on Friday, but we actually uh, right now only have three videos done. So as I mentioned, we wanted to use YouTube to host the video so we could get some demographic data. Now there's a lot of speculation online on what is actual the number of views that you have on your YouTube video. Is it unique hits? Is it not unique? And we're still researching that. Right here, we have 241 views for our first video that we uploaded. Now, I was tracking this on StatCounter.com, which I told you guys about, and I know at least half of those views, just from that information, half of these views are coming from YouTube alone. So that's really cool. And we're not broadcasting on any other sites or doing anything else. So I know that at least half of the views are coming from YouTube, so regardless of if this number is unique, uh, hits or unique views or not, I know we're getting a lot of traffic from YouTube itself. All right, cool. So if we click on Insight right here, and we can view a bunch of cool data. All right, so we can see views. Uh, we have more views from Alaska and from the United States than anywhere else. Click popularity. All right, this is cool. It's obviously only been up for three days, but it is going up in popularity. And then we have discovery. All right, now this is really damn ninja, man. This right here, and Anthony and I were looking at this earlier, you can click on external links and find, external links and find out where people came from. Well, we did an article on Dig, so 0.64% of our viewers came from Dig. Uh, someone got an email about it from Yahoo, uh, Yahoo's email client, so that's really cool. Um, then someone also got a link to it from Gmail. And then someone went to Anthony's website, saw a link to here, and then checked it out that way. So that's cool. We can find out where they're coming from, and that's huge data to be able to, you know, get a hold of. All right, so then let's go back to all views, and let's check out Google search. All right, so we have 1.2% of the viewers, all right, and a total of 3.6% of all our views have came from Google search, all right? 1.2% of those searched nicheninjas.com. We haven't really advertised this, have we? I mean... No, uh-uh. Yeah, so I mean, I'm assuming that's from people on Twitter who saw about Niche Ninjas and wanted to check it out. Uh, niche Marketing, uh, Anthony Deloach, someone typed that in. Oops. If you click on it, it actually uh, shows, uh, brings it up for you. All right, so someone typed that in. Someone typed in Anthony Deloach, YouTube, NicheNinjas.com, Trey Smith, Anthony Deloach. So we can find out exactly what they typed into Google. 
to right. see our stuff. And what's so cool by having this autoplay on the Niche Ninjas website, it actually, we believe, automatically does this information for us and calculates this information for us. All right, so we're going to click on demographics, and we can see right now 100% has been male and the age of 25 to 35. Okay, now most likely a lot of people weren't logged into YouTube when they viewed our video on nicheninjas.com or youtube.com. And like I said, we're still trying to research and find out if it'll actually log this information here if they just go to nicheninjas.com and never even touch YouTube. We're not totally sure on that yet. But regardless, we know that there has at least been one person, possibly more, who viewed our, our, our um, video that's been between 25 to 35 years of age and they were male. So this is so cool. If you did this for a really high traffic niche, obviously niche niches is something me and Anthony were goofing off and started a couple days ago. But if you did this on a high traffic niche, you could find out if your average customer is male, female, how old, and that is so invaluable, especially if you do go to TV Guide and you spend $5,000 or something huge, like we talked about in the Ad Bright videos yesterday, if you do want to do some huge banner ad testing, then you know your target market. And all those big websites like CNN, TV guy they give you their demographics they're like look the average person is male they're 50 years of age and blah blah so you can find someone that fits this demographic of your website and then you can afford to chance and maybe spend a little bit more money and one more cool tip ad ready lets you do demographics without spending the five thousand dollars a month or whatever on tvguide.com so ad ready will put your banner ad on multiple sites let you test it out even before you jump into the loop of some big five thousand dollar investment you can do it on ad ready for really cheap and still use your demographic data you got from youtube.com so anyway we think that's why it's going to most likely be uh, super profitable for people that use it so anyway check it out <laughs>